Hey guys, so welcome back to Life in Ministry. I just wanted to get on here real quickly and um, give you this quick word. Um, so it is about God's permissive will and perfect will. And um, God, what did you want me to start with? Today, today's journey. So this morning, God had me get up and he told me to go downtown, you know, put on some walking shoes and go on a walk. So I went downtown to handle some business and then I was just like, where are we going next? So, you know, God was kind of leading me and he's like, I want you to go to this store, this clothing store and, excuse me, buy yourself something. So went inside the clothing store, looked at everything in the store, took my precious time, you know, just walking around looking at everything and I picked up like two dresses and I was like, you know, these are cute, but then I just put them down. So I ended up going out of the store empty handed while, you know, God had told me to buy something. So now as I am leaving the store, I hear two women are entering the store and they're like, it's a 50% off on so-and-so, so-and-so tags. And it's a 25% off on so-and-so, so-and-so. So I'm like, wow. So I would have saved, you know, some money. You know, because um, God told me to spend $5 as well. Let me let you know that. Go in the store, spend $5, and that be that. So, in my head, I'm just like, it's, it's nothing that I really sought after in there. So, I'm going to go ahead and just get out. Even though I picked up these two dresses that was $4.50, um, I had no clue that there was a 50% off or 25% um, off at all. Left out the store empty handed. <laughs> so that one right right there, not obeying God, not following his directions. So I'm leaving as I'm leaving out the store, I am walking all over the place like this. And I am now like, Lord, where do you, where do I go next? You know, because it's businesses downtown, it's restaurants, it's you know, a lot of things. And I'm like, where should I go next? And to the point that I'm not even knowing like what street do you want me to cross? What, you know, so I'm just, I'm totally asking God to lead me and then I'm going um, left and then he tells me go. So as I am continuing my journey, you know, not knowing where I, where I am going, I end up um, entering into this comic store. So growing up, I have been a big, you know, comic fan. Um, got that from my dad. He is a complete nerd. Um, Raised all five of his kids up on superheroes, DC, uh, you know, Marvel, all those type of things. So that's something that's been a part of my life for a very, very long time. Um, so I'm going inside the comic store and I'm just taking a look at everything. And as I'm going into the comic store, I'm seeing mystical things as well. I am seeing magic. I'm seeing, you know, different things. But I'm still just like, you know, telling myself, I'm only looking at these superheroes i'm only you know i'm looking at shirts and things and i'm like this is a very nice setup so in the front they had all of those items things like that then in the back they had tables they had board games they had everything for you to come free and play board games they have tournaments and all that with you know they're now i'm asking i asking about the store you know this is my first time in you guys uh, you want to tell me a little bit about it? And they are so nice, so kind, so friendly and telling me all these things. You can come and you pick out whatever game you like to play. Go play, do this, this, that. We have snacks over here that you can purchase. You know, we're going to start getting better things in. Very nice, very friendly. But then I felt conviction. I felt the conviction, the magic, the magic, the magic, the sorcery, the, the conviction. It hit me. So I said, thank you guys. I'll see you later. And left out the store. Knowing that I'm not going back in there because God has now convicted my spirit that that is not a place that you will be. So as I'm leaving out of the store, you know, I get a um, message from my son's dad saying we are on the way. Basically, they're at my home. And so I'm like, you know, my journey's over heading back home for my son. So now I am actually back home and I'm laughing at myself. I'm in the house and I'm like, OK. That was an interesting day. That was all over the place. And now I have to come back home and sit with my son. And now I'm kind of just like, okay, it correlates to what has happened and what has been going on in my actual life. 
Um, not to get in so many details, but 11-11, the Lord's remarried me in the spirit. Um, the, the Lord had, uh, you know, raised up someone, um, well, the Lord had uh, ordained someone for me, um, my kingdom spouse, and he was disobedient and, um, the Lord released me from him and the Lord promised that he'll raise up another. Um, the Lord has been raising up that individual, but you know, I came to God with, um, feelings of what if he might not submit to you? What if he might not surrender to you? What if he might not, you know, take me as his spouse? What, you know, so it was a lot of, of that going on. And the Lord let me know that he would be okay with me, um, going ahead, going ahead and choosing my spouse. And I could tell that that was not what God wanted for me, but I took it and I ran with it. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm dating others. Um, at this point I am not at all, but then I, you know, I was dating and, you know, I went through that process and God said he would cover me through that process. And that's so now I'm sitting here in God's face, begging him for what he has for me. I want what you want for me. He's like, I already gave you, you know, I already 11, 11. I, re I already told you who your spouse was. I already put it out, said it done, you know, you decided to make another choice because out of fear or what, you know, whatever the case may be. And I'm just going to say to you guys, do not miss out on your blessing. Do not miss out on what God is doing for you, what God has prepared for you. Um, do not sit there and allow fear to make you, um, you know, afraid of being patient afraid of using the fruits of the spirit, afraid of trusting God and being obedient. Even in today, like I did not know anything was on sale. When the Lord told me to get something, I should have just got something because that's what he told me to do. So I missed out on a sale because, um, I decided, I don't know, let me not do that. Let me, you know, I wanted to do my own thing. Now I'm walking and as I'm walking, I'm not knowing where I'm going. I'm going like this. And the Lord probably just laughing at me like, girl, I am already, I made the way for you. I've parted the seeds for you. I've already done it for you. So you are looking silly because why are you trying to do it for yourself? So I want y'all to trust God. Be encouraged to trust in him. When you don't understand what he's doing, um, when it looks hard and seems difficult, just trust in him. Be obedient. You don't have to worry about somebody else's part. You don't have to worry about what somebody else is or isn't doing. The same way God is instructing you to do something, he is instructing whoever else. So I want you to um, have that encouragement to trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not into your own understanding. I'm sitting here trying to lean to the left and the right, not knowing where I am going today. <laughs> And it was fun, just like in, in, in life. The things that I've done, my own choices, they have been fun. But are they fulfilling? Absolutely not. I want what fulfills me, and I want God's purpose for my life. So I'll see you back <laughs> on the next content. Bye-bye.